Neil Lennon was having some fun at Rugby Park in Parkhead as he was lapping it up with Brendan Rogers, like father, like son in that case. They, they loved it, man. They're lapping each other. Big Brendan's dragging Neil over. But is he dragging him over to Bucharest? Probably not, because Neil Lennon has landed his next job, which we did make a video about, and we called out, well, I called out Rapid Bucharest. I said their fans just simply aren't as good as Celtic, but you know what? It doesn't really matter about that, because you've got Neil Francis Lennon blocking this mega transfer move for Albion Romani. So it's not quite Albion Rovers, it's Albion Romani. Scored 17 goals in 25 appearances for Rapid Bucharest. And you may be wondering, well, who's he blocking the move from? Well, none other than Rangers. Rangers wanted this guy, this youngster for Kosovo, who is only 23 years of age, would be 24 on the 31st of August. But it looks like the deal's not happening. Neil Lennon's blocked it. Thoughts? Uh, I think he's got a wee bit of green left in him. Green with Celtic, green with Envy. He's denying Rangers a chance here of signing this guy. And you got to wonder, would he be blocking this move if it was Celtic showing interest in Ramarani? I'm not too convinced now. 6.2 million seems to be the rumoured fee. I mean, well, maybe he's doing Rangers a favour because I don't think they'd be spending that amount of money to be no, fair. No, I mean, just side Shankland, folks, right? But anyway, let's not uh, kick a dead horse. Beat a dead horse, damn it. Got Neil Lennon, 6.2 million. There's a lot of factors which makes me think this deal's not going to happen for Rangers, but I've seen people talk about, oh, Rangers actually aren't in for the guy. There's just one other team that no one can confirm who it is. But for the Daily Record, for the Sun, for all these newspaper articles and companies, etc., it's just easier for them to whip up a story saying that the new manager, Neil Lennon, the Celtic man, the diehard Celtic man, is stopping Rangers from signing this guy, isn't it? That's the clickbait stuff. That's what gets people to tune in. That's what gets people to read the paper. That's, that's what's got people on this video. So you're saying it's not true? I don't think it's true. I mean, Neil Lennon, right? We, we actually think he's pretty impartial, don't we? Ah, he does a good job, I think. Like, I'm not saying that he or he's going to just hand off one of his best players to Rangers, but I don't think he's the sort of guy that would purposely shaft Rangers out of signing this guy. If Rangers came in with 6.2 million and this club wanted to accept it because it's good money, I don't, think he'd be, I don't think he'd literally tell the board here, I'm a Celtic man and I don't want him going to Rangers. I think that would be pretty petty. A bit cheap. Be Neil Lennon's behind. Yeah, I'm sure he's focusing on his own career. He's focusing on being successful. Last thing he's going to do is really sacrifice his season to just try and screw Rangers. It doesn't make any sense. Now this guy, international, cause of international, 17 goals last season. Now that is a few less goals than uh, the big man himself, Serial Dessers. But here, Rangers need options up front. But again, you've got Lammers. Will he move on? Probably. Dessers probably won't be. Danilo is going to be there. There's all this talk about, oh, Rangers need a striker. Is there enough room up front for Rangers to really do that in terms of the wage budget? I'm not too convinced. But for Neil Lennon, I'm disappointed. Did you not want him to take that Hibs job? I wanted him to take the Hibs job. Aye, I wanted to see Neil Lennon back in Scottish football. Uh, he'd, he'd done well at Hibs before. No reason why he couldn't do well with Hibs again. But he decided, for whatever reason, Hibs' job wasn't the job that he wanted. So, yeah, he, he took this job here. But then again, I don't blame Neil Lennon. Why should he work under Malky Mackay? And it doesn't really appear. Maybe him, maybe Hibs weren't interested in your line and maybe they thought being there done that. Not interested in being like top four finishes and all that good stuff. But uh, Romani has two years remaining on his current deal. Lennon insists he wants to keep the player in the Superliga following his return to management. He spoke in his first press conference and he said, I don't want him to leave anywhere. Especially that uh, blue side of Glasgow. He is a top player. I can't believe Neil Lennon said that. And goal scorers are a valuable commodity to the team. Absolutely. You need goal scorers. He didn't actually say that. I added that wee bit in. No disbelief in there. Neil Lennon had you on the strings. Had you on the ropes. Neil Francis Lennon. But yeah, it's not going to happen. There's 6.2 million for Rangers. I think, I think if Rangers are going to sign a guy for 6.2 million, he almost has to be established. But I just feel like with a striker, it's hard to get one. Was Danilo established? I would say Danilo is established, you know, playing in the Dutch league. No yeah, well, I think we've established his shite, how about that? Well, yeah, here yeah, we can establish that. But I just think paying 6.2 million for a guy in the Romanian league's not the correct way of going about business. That's what I will say. Is that a spoiler? Is that a big bit of news? No. I mean, who's came for the Romanian leagues that's any good? Enlighten me. Your fast knowledge there. 
the football in the encyclopedia. I can't recall many transfers happening for the Romanian league. That's exactly my point, let alone 6.2 million worth of them. Anyway, I don't want Rangers to sign this guy. I think there's so much more better options out there. Than the last big signing I remember for the Romanian league was Mutu to Chelsea. How long ago was that? Like fucking 20 years ago. Right, exactly, so that, there you go. Mutu your ass on out of here, Jabroni. Till next time. Peace.